Good morning, everyone. For this morning's devotion, I will start by singing Day by Day. Um, this song just reminds us that the Lord is always with us every day. Um, he's always there to guide us, and he's there to always love us no matter what happens. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. This morning again, I want to take a moment to focus on Jesus' encounter with Thomas after the resurrection. Do you remember Thomas was not with all the other disciples on the evening of the first Easter when Jesus appeared? And so when the other disciples told them that they had seen the Lord, remember what Thomas said. Unless I put my hands in the nail prints and trace the print of the nails, and unless I thrust my hand into his side, I won't believe. And so the next Sunday, the disciples were all gathered together, and Thomas was with them, and Jesus appeared. And what's interesting to me is not only what Jesus said to Thomas, but what he didn't say. He didn't scold him. He didn't berate him. He didn't condemn Thomas. He didn't say, how in the world could you make such a demand of me to tell me what I need to do for you? I'm God. You're not. You're being impudent. You're being childish. You're being too demanding. But there was nothing like that. Instead, Jesus met Thomas where he was at. And he said, Thomas, here, touch my hands. Thrust your hand into my side. Don't be doubting, but believe. Jesus stooped in order to meet Thomas 
where he was at that moment so Thomas could believe again and follow Jesus into the future. In my experience, that's how Jesus works. That the times when we have the most dramatic evidence of his resurrection and his presence among us are not the times when our faith is the strongest, but the times when our faith is the weakest. Not when things are going well, but when things are going badly. Not in the midst of our triumphs, but in the midst of our tragedies. It's then that the Lord comes to us, that he stoops to us and meets us where we're at so that we can believe again and trust again and follow again. Many years ago, when I was in my first parish, one of our uh, most committed members was Ostri Shelbestad. And at the time, Ostri was in her 80s, and she had spent years uh, as a surgical nurse, and she was retired at the time. And after I got to know her somewhat, she told me about something that had happened to her years before. She said that uh, her, she and her husband um, were taking their two girls, who were very small at the time, on a road trip. And on the way, they got into a terrible car accident. Her husband was killed. She was in a coma for 21 days, but the girls were fine. She told me that while she was in the hospital and in that coma, that the Lord appeared at the end of her bed. And she said, it was as real as you are standing in front of me right now. And she said, I told the Lord, I want to die and be with my husband. But he said to me, no, Ostri, you need to live and take care of your two girls. And then he left. She said, ever since then, I never wondered why I was spared, why I didn't die. I knew that that's what I needed to do. The Lord came to her in perhaps the worst moment of her life when she needed his assurance, his love, his um, presence with her like she never did before. I've had several others tell me of similar stories when the Lord has appeared in this very dramatic way, not in the heights, but in the depths. To me, that is a testament to the Lord's great love of how he stoops to us, meets us where we are, gives us what we need so we can believe and trust and move on in following here, him. And so today, I think it's a day to give thanks to the Lord for his great love for us, that he is not too high, too mighty, too godly to stoop to meet us and give us what we need in our most difficult moments, in our darkest days. He comes to us where we are and gives us signs of his great love. Now I'd invite you to pray with me. Again, center yourself, still your mind and heart. Use whatever it is that helps you pay attention to the presence of the Holy Spirit in us and among us and between us. So let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your great love, that you are willing to stoop down to meet us where we are, that you are willing to stoop in order to conquer our minds and our hearts, that 
you are willing to stoop to meet us, to still our fears, to free us of our anxieties, uh, to give us faith in the midst of our doubts. Lord, we ask that you give us the grace um, to rejoice in that and uh, to live in that good news and to give it to others um, as freely as you've first given it to us. Lord, we pray that you be with all those who are directly affected by this pandemic. For those on the front lines who are serving those who are most in need, that you be with those who are infected, that you heal them by your good grace, but that especially um, you be with all who are struggling and help them to know that your presence is near that um, you are with them and that um, you have overcome um, sin and death and the grave and that nothing can separate us from you and your love. Lord, we pray for all those in any need around the globe, especially those most affected by this. And we pray for those whom we know and love, who are in need of our prayers, whom we now name in our hearts before you. Lord, all these situations, all these people, all these needs, um, we lift up to you now and give it to you in the prayer that you yourself have taught us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Now as you go through this day, may Christ go with you. May he go before you to show you the way, beside you to befriend you, beneath you to uphold you, behind you to defend you, above you to watch over, and within you to give you his peace. And the blessing of the almighty and most merciful God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you this day and always. Amen. Christ is risen. Alleluia. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Go in the peace of the risen Christ. You are God's beloved. Thanks be to God.